find me a boss man. One gonna treat me right. Let me wake in the daytime. Get my rest at night, big boss man. Can't you help me when I come? Close your eyes. Let's recreate some memories. Look around you at Tatna Park. There's not wood chips on the playground. And there are holes in the soccer, in the soccer nets. And, uh, well, I don't know what to do about the tennis courts. Uh, where's the fountain? It's down in Third Street Park. And it doesn't have any water in it. The Silver family doesn't even live in the corridor yet, so you <laughs> haven't started getting emails about the trees and the coming fountain from Andrew Silver. Not quite yet. Um, a woman with a vision says the Knight Foundation is interested in this project. People said we couldn't do it. People said nobody would want to live in Bells Hill. People said College Hill, the, the area between Mercer and downtown, was never going to come back. And you proved them wrong. As important as funding is, it is not nearly as important as the ideas and the vision and the creativity of the people who live in Macon. And the partnerships that have been built over this last eight years are phenomenal. We've grown our undergraduate student population by 25% during that period, and the credentials are off the charts. So it's been a tremendous success in terms of attracting investment into this, uh, this district. It's been a tremendous success in terms of attracting talented young people. I think the most striking thing is, is tends to be the things you can see and some of the physical improvements that we've seen over the last eight years. What they have done to re-energize the College Hill corridor and to improve the connectivity between Mercer and College Hill in downtown Macon has catapulted the revitalization of downtown Macon. We have reawaken a sense of optimism and enthusiasm that has been absent from this community for decades. With that renewed optimism and enthusiasm, I am confident that the sky is the limit. The College Hill Corridor Commission members have always been staff level folks who have to-do lists and they're just people who can get, there's kids here, stuff done. We are a volunteer group um, that it has always been in existence uh, with Sarah starting that and um, moving forward has worked alongside the Alliance to push out the ideas and projects and to really create communication lines between uh, community members and, and get things done. I think that as impressive as the physical improvements in the corridor have been, I think maybe the most impactful thing about this community endeavor has been uh, watching uh, the sense of self-confidence in the community rise as we see the successes that have resulted from this community-wide effort to rebuild our city. And uh, I see that spreading throughout the community now where people are saying, if we can do that in College Hill, you know, what can we do in Macon?